What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get back to putting content on the channel. I have been gone for damn near a month, and there has been a lot, a lot of basketball topics that I have not been able to report on and give my opinion on and break down. Um, some things I will go back and post content for. Other things I won't. All right. We've had just, just, just so much, so much to get into, so much that I've missed. So I'm happy to be back. But let's start with the most recent performance uh, by a feller, a grand feller at that. One of the top players in the league, a top 10 player in the league, and a top one or two center in the league, the boy Joel Embiid put up one of the best performances I was going to say that I have seen in a long time, but I actually did not watch the game. I was on a flight. I clicked in on the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi isn't good enough to watch games, but I can get updates on scores. And I was also checking my fantasy, FanDuel. I was checking out the top performers. And I saw that Joel Embiid damn near had 100 FanDuel points. And FanDuel points are calculated based on your points, assists, points rebounds, assists, uh, turnovers, all that stuff. And it calculates uh, the performance, gives it a, a numerical value. And... I don't think I've ever seen a player get 100 FanDuel points before for a game. I remember Russ and James Harden flirted with it a lot back when they were putting up all those triple doubles a few years ago. But Joel Embiid surpassed 100 FanDuel points. This fool damn near had a 60-point quadruple double. A 60-point quadruple double. Do you hear me? Joel Embiid put up 59 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists, and 7 blocked shots. Are you kidding me? I, I can't see, I, I can't say, not see, I can't say that I've seen many box scores, player box scores, that can rival those numbers right there. Like I said, I did not see the game. I did not see his performance. I saw it was a fairly close game. So, together, let's check out Joel Embiid's performance, shall we? All right, this video was provided to us by the official NBA channel on YouTube. Appreciate you. Let's see uh, what the boy Joel Embiid had in store. Him playing so well is him just being out there. Home game. He's been stricken with injuries throughout the course of his career. It's good to see him putting his strength oh. together. Look like he got the jumper going tonight. Just like he did last night. If his jumper going, good luck. Especially if he's being aggressive. Great pass. Great pass. Opportunity. Make them have to manufacture something each trip. Conley faking the double, then bringing the double. Doesn't matter. Beautiful touch, man. Beautiful touch. <laughs> uniforms, to be honest. Face up. Ooh, good footwork. Good footwork. I like it. Pump fake, pivot spin. Going right at Kessler. Boom. Pivot. Jump stop. Sweet gather. Easy with the right hand. Can't do nothing with that. That boy too big. Yeah, good night. If, if his jumper going, good luck. Because you can't stop the man in the paint. Block. Remember, no James Harden, so he was really getting off. As he should. Yeah, the mid-range is butter today. The mid-range was butter today. And another really good box out from Tyrese. Then it gets a little physical, no call. Joel up and in, 17 and catch. Oh, Nick didn't even put a hand up. Good job for Matisse get a hand up on that. Harris, Embiid, Euro step. Oh, Nick's defense is hot garbage right now. Before you get back. Oh, what a good bounce pass. 
And beat out here doing it all, baby. We have the talent. We have to figure this out. He said, "Who needs James Harden? I could be the point guard, baby." In that situation. Who needs Melton? Who needs Harden? One thing I love about Embiid is that he doesn't really fall in love with the three-point shot like Anthony Davis does. Embiid ain't scared to be big. Tobias just took five shots. He's got four points so far. Can't stop. Yeah. Embiid fading, swishing, 26. Ain't nothing you can do with him when that jumper going, man. So much easier said than done. For sure. Step back. Fading away. Nothing but Fade away. 29 for Embiid. You have the jump shot. Joel able to knock that down. Creates just enough space with that little. They better start sending double teams out early. You flashing a double team late. You got to get that double team early. The minute he touched the ball, hard double team. And a key to getting back into this one in the third. 31 for Embiid. Identical shot. Automatic. Two defenders right in JoJo's face. Automatic. Embiid directing traffic. Driving past Gay. Too easy. Way too easy. I got to see what that box score was looking like. Six at the half. And, he, and he's not doing anything crazy. Great pass. He's keeping it very simple. Basketball is a simple sport, and he's keeping it very simple. He's not trying to do too much. Easy. Pump fake. One dribble to the left. Pull up. Shoot. Right at the strike. Good finish. I gotta see the, the, the box score. Knocking him aside. Unable to complete the three point play, 86 all. Clarkson kept his dribble. Get out of here! Give me that. I'm gonna pin that shit on the backboard, boy. Bring that stuff out here. Clear out for the big fella. 43. Hook it. He shot 19 for 28 from the field and 20 for 24 from the free throw line. Good rebound. Easy. Watch Joel here. Just hanging in with the play. Not giving up. Rewards. Harrison Matthew both playing with four fouls. See, it's a close game. Sixers actually down right now. They need every one of these buckets. They need every one of these buckets. And he getting it done in the clutch, too. We got Tobias on the cut. Maxie couldn't get it to him. Where is that double team need to come early, man? And Every bucket counts, man. Every bucket counts. Every bucket was needed. Played 33 so far tonight. 54 points. 33 minutes. Oh, this is a block. Give me that, boy. It's dinner time, baby. Put it on the platter, baby. I bring the hot sauce. Right on the block, baby. One more time. Great timing. He even did a good job as to not land on. On Maxi as well. Oh, he about to eat this too. Get that out of here, boy. Get out of here. I'm playing with you. My name Joel and B, baby. Chasing down. Give me that. Give me that. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like my big men to play. Play big. Play strong. Don't be like Anthony Davis. He said everything to the rack, baby. Mm. Nope. Fade away again. Jumper gone. What you gonna do with that? What you gonna do with that right there? Really? What you, what you gonna, when Joel Embiid's mid-range jumper is going, or his jumper period is going, and he's being aggressive, good luck. You cannot stop that man when his jumper's going and he's being aggressive. They should have. I would have had the double teams coming immediately when he touched the ball. Hard doubles. Just keep the ball out of his hands. Hard, to, even if you guys send a triple team out, so be it. Just quickly get back and recover. But hey, shout out to Joel Embiid, hell of a performance right there. That's the type of aggressiveness I like to see from a big man. Please, Joel Embiid to the Lakers. If you're gonna be playing like this more often, please, Joel Embiid to the Lakers, baby. Fun fact: 
Embiid became the first player with 50 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and 5 blocks in a game since blocks became official in 1973-1974. I knew it. I was like, dude, I don't think I've ever seen a box score like this before. Damn near a 60-point quadruple double. And the last time I saw a player even get close to a triple double or a quadruple double was Draymond Green uh, years back. It was either during their historic season or the season after their historic season. But Draymond was like one assist or one block or one rebound away from a quadruple double. He was that close to it. But, you know, Draymond is probably like 10, 10, 10, and 10. This dude got 60. Damn near 60. You know what I mean? Yo, shout out to Joel. Hell of a performance. That's what I like to see from NBA players. That's the type of aggressiveness I like, baby. I like that type of aggressiveness, baby. Yes. Who needs James Harden? Now, see, that was when James was playing, I felt like Embiid was getting left out, especially on the offensive end, because Harden was being too ball dominant. And Embiid was not getting enough touches, and it really sucked all the sucked all the Joel Embiid out of the offense, and he was just lingering around, occasionally setting screens, but just looking lost out there. When James Harden comes back, the offense, of course, you know, James Harden is the point guard, but the offense needs to go through Embiid more. What Embiid is able to do when he is when he is aggressive, not many players can do in this league. There is a handful of them. That can, that can, um, you know, exact their dominance and their willpower on an entire game and just leave a foe kneeling and bending down for mercy when they're aggressive and, and dialed in. You know, that Mamba mentality, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I'm not going to keep this going much longer. Big shout out to Joel Embiid. Hell of a performance. And hopefully you can keep this up. I want to. I want to see you uh, keep dominating like this. I I love watching big men do work, man. So when I when I play basketball, I play in the post. I'm more, I'm most comfortable in the post. I can shoot the jack. I ball handling all stuff, but I like back to the basket stuff, baby. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think about Joel Embiid's performance. And where do you have Joel Embiid ranked in your current players of today? Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back with y'all. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. We out, baby.